Hi everyone. So today I just got a new package. Uh, as you can see, it's from Awaken Rams. Uh, I think you should have guessed what this is. It's one of their big titles which uh, I bought many years ago. Yes, that's right. Let's see around here. Tainted Grill. Uh, expansions it says, but actually this is the full shipment because uh, I made a mix mistake by uh, getting the all-in but using one wave shipping uh, so it ended up to be a very, very big box yep. so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you the unbox today uh, I'll open up the box and I'll show you the various uh, package as much as possible but maybe I won't open every single box in detail in this video uh, maybe I'll do another one okay so so if you're familiar with uh, Awaken Rams, the, all their boxes usually comes in a very very nice uh, specially printed box with the title on the outside. I mean it can be a good thing, it can also be a very bad thing because that means people actually know uh, know what's inside the box. I, I don't know, there's so far not heard of anybody like you know got their board game stolen yet but potentially I think that's a problem. Maybe Awaken Rams might want to think about it. But of course I know it's a nice touch to you know to see your your box containing all your stuff you know, coming in. Okay, so today I tried um, a mount to do this um, to do this video. So uh, it's actually static. There will be less movement. But as you can see, uh, I'm trying to adjust the angle a bit. But I'll try, I'll try to, uh, to make it the best out of this. I mean, this. I'll just try this for once. If it doesn't work, then we just go back to uh, handheld again next time. So I'll, I'll pick out this uh, this other styrofoam uh, protection. As you can see just now here, right? You know, you can see the that that piece of things that makes the lets you carry. Uh, because the box is so heavy, I think it's at least ten kilo and above. It actually cuts quite deep. Okay. So I'm, I actually I was pretty worried, but as you can see, there was no damage even to the styrofoam form. So great job. It's a very, very good job. So um, this is the the first two box you can see here. Uh, Echo the past. Uh, this is an expansion, I believe. Yeah, it's an expansion. As you can see, uh, require the core box. Okay. Uh, and there's a surprise box. Surprise box is always something that uh, Awaken Ram has always do. Um, so when when they have a new games coming up, they usually like give you some teaser. But we already know that the new game is actually ISS Vanguard, and actually the project has already uh, been over. I mean the press manager is not out yet, but um, the kickstart the not Kickstarter actually is a uh, this was started on Game Found. So the Game Found part is already over. Um, yeah, so. Oh, by the way, actually, I backed it, but I didn't back all the majors because I'm the one who believed that um, having a grey major doesn't really uh, doesn't really look as good as having a colourful standy, right? As someone has said. Uh. So, Red Death is another major big box. I think this is an add-on as well. It's an expansion. Uh, this comes with, uh, I think, a few miniatures. Yeah and what well, really cool uh, you know fits it very well with the Mobit uh, King Arthur Legends <sighs> and what else do we have here the Fall of Avalon Monsters of Avalon yes this is the this the big box with all the miniatures yeah I mean it's what people paid for I wonder if mine is the sun drop I don't think so but we, sh we can check it out later so those are more or less the some of the additional stuff you get. Um, so this is the super major heavy. Let me put this down. This is the, the gigantic, gigantic core box, which weighs like uh, I don't know, easily five kilo on its own. I think. Uh, most people will have gotten this already if they have uh, done the two way shipping. So, as I mentioned, it's actually a, a big mistake on my part. I would never, never do two-wave shipping for uh, Awaken Rams games again because 
I mean one wave that means uh, ship everything at the, at the second wave because it's like everybody has played the Wacom Rams games uh, one year or more or less when you have a uh, wave one shipping but if you are going to go like well, one wave shipping only you have to wait until wave two which you are kind of like playing an uh, old game and uh, that's kind of sad yeah so this is the as you can see here from the sound that is how thick and how heavy this is so this is one of the major add-ons okay so what i'm going to do is that uh i'm going to probably like sit down because standing here doing all this is a bit it is a bit tough and i'll open up some of the box right here okay <coughs> so i'll try to keep this all this in the in the video but just not sure if the orientation is right because the what i've got this stand for is not really used for um used for making videos it's more for streaming so i'm going to like tilt it in this direction uh, hopefully you know when i upload it to youtube you will be in the right orientation okay we can start with uh some of the smaller boxes here first so i think i think let me start with this because um i think there are no longer any surprises in this because we all know about RS Vanguard. Oh, actually, the other side is a bit open. I shall just open it from here. Oh, you see, my dog is trying to throw me on this. I don't know whether you capture him on video or not, but he's like running all over. So, what you get here is um, something that you don't really get. Uh, actually, I got Adder Fuse as well. So, Adder Fuse comes with uh, one of the comics which was published. You can download the PDF or the comic anyway. So this was the art book. I mean, this is the art book, which I think you have to pay for it if you, as an additional item in IS Vanguard. But here it is. Um, and as usual, they, uh, all the Wacom Rams uh, products, they are very, um, they express their appreciation by giving you a letter. So in this case, uh, as you can see, dear backers, and everything yep and of course the thank you and signed by the uh, I think the founder and designer CEO and so on so um, this is a nice touch It's not absolutely necessary but I think it, it gives um, it gives you a sense of uh, achievement in a way and this is the LMAC for Avalon and you know that uh, I'm a big fan of all the King Arthur stuff so as soon as I heard that this was about King Arthur you know I go all in I don't really care so much about the gameplay and so on but well it turns out to be a pretty good game like I say um, because most of the other people have really played for a year and I just got hold of it that's what that's what this is about let me put this back in uh, quite quickly because I don't want to like, waste too much air time Okay, I'll open the echo the pass first since since that's that's the order this has came in right. Okay. So string wrap is something a bit tricky because sometimes um, you can actually accidentally destroy your board game when trying to undo string wraps if it's too tight, especially you know when you are doing your cards and the string wrap is like really tight on your cards. Uh, that's the part that I don't really like but so far so good for this so this the book of memory that's inside the echo of the past which actually is an expansion I believe and, um, and this this uh, Niam I think I pronounce what did you pronounce Niam uh, is actually an uh, additional character I think there was a there was a kickstarter um, if you are like first 48 hours or something like that I can't quite remember the details but I know that it's exclusive so um, so there it is I don't know if they really did give it to everybody or you know maybe only limited people so I think these are all the great character sheets that can use oh he's called Maggot what a weird name though he reminds me of the you know the guy from uh, the God of War uh, Kratos right yeah okay anyway very very cool pictures but I'm sure you already seen this, you know, if you know about uh, this game. So Tainted Grill is about a time where 
King Arthur is no longer around and uh, they sent people respectable knights to go and uh, solve some issue but they never came back so it's up to all the people who was left not knights but they are just people who might be able to save the world and as you can see here we have uh, cards styrofoam to protect this box the box is uh is sturdy but it's probably not hard enough if you put some pressure on it you'll bend and you know the likelihood is that um, you'll get squashed if this thing is not there so great touch for you know protecting this uh, although the only problem is that the, the hole makes this a bit hard to pull back i will just try to put it back because i i want to um go ahead count all the stuff later to make sure that i'm not missing any stuff uh it's unlikely it will happen not for weekend rams though but um for other games it happened before so uh it becomes a, a lesson learned in a way uh, that i will just check everything okay i'm sure uh this is one of the one of the stuff that you all want to see but i also think that you have already seen it from all other videos i posted a year ago for for the tender grill but i'm gonna just do this anyway and i'm gonna do it slightly different so i'll not focus on the big monsters usually so so that you know it's slightly different from what you see right? but anyway the artwork is fantastic right you know this reminds you of like some death knight or you know uh, with a nightmare or something like i think like those blood streaming out from the eyes or something. totally cool okay this is something totally appreciated you know teach you how to put the things back uh, it always have been a big problem for a lot of games especially those earlier ones uh i don't mention companies but you know they they never really give you anything like this and in the end you have to figure out what goes back where so i'll leave this up to see that it's only uh, one layer so the for the box the uh, monster of Avalon. This is what you get. A total of about um, let's say about 20, 20 miniatures. Um, of course, this is their signature design. They always have the name printed on the plastic cover. I will pick out a few. Okay, so you know that Death Knight guy definitely be one you want to look at. Uh, I hope it's focused because I can't see the camera right now, but there you are see the detail of these miniatures you know actually if, if they do sell these miniatures uh separately I, I don't mind getting one to do my test printing on because uh, uh my painting is not that good so i probably want to have some extra to try out don't want to ruin the original one i think this one a lot of people have seen it uh you know totally cool you know, like it's a monster fish definitely fish uh, marine monster thing but with a, I think a siren or something that's sticking out his mouth yep. uh, one more maybe yep and then this uh, eager eager monster or the sword now what if he can use the sword himself or maybe the sword has been planted in this poor eager beast here okay so look at the wings you know the feather so if you like you know do all the wash on it on this oh by the way so now you realize this is definitely not uh, sun drop but sun drop not actually uh to me i think it's quite easy if you if you know what a wash is you know how to create sun drop you just uh you know go wash the whole miniature over and there you have it yeah and then uh so this looks like human heads hanged out on this uh, extensions uh blades you know yeah so so what can i say it's like it's a fantastic set of miniatures you know so much details you know yeah look at look at the hands look at all the you know joints and the yeah yeah okay you know i can go on the whole day about miniatures if i want to but you know that's not the purpose of this video right so you put this back put this back in the only problem with miniatures is that um I'm not sure how often they appear in the game. If it's like once or twice, maybe that's the only time you get to pull it out. And then that's it. So, so that was the reason why I didn't uh, back ISS Vanguard for the miniatures. Because they do offer a version with a standee only. And, you know, in terms of gameplay, the standees are uh, just more than enough for me. And, and the price difference is almost like 100 USD. Yeah. Okay, so 
here's another box read death okay usually the trick is that i will leave some part of it you know cut a little bit uh this knife is actually quite dangerous you will it's possible to cut cut box with this so you know i'm pretty sure you can cut anything on this way but it's good for unpacking stuff especially those sticky tape and stuff you can see uh, the knife is ruined but that's the purpose of the knife okay read death wow look at this journal tick yep and you know the the fake uh, burn marks and everything yeah. these are veg actually uh, i prefer this type of binding it's good Pref uh, other than the glue type but you know the glue everything that those uh, after some times they actually might uh, fall apart yeah so we have some letters let's not ruin the letters uh, you know the content again so i think there's three different now here uh, you can see last night's uh, age of legends four of avalon i don't know if this is just scenarios or is it just uh, letters that's uh, you're supposed to read in sequence so there's a save sheet looks like pretty good character sheet but i'm sure you can download a pdf and print more of this if you need i'm probably going to print out my own or use some third party one if they are better in any way okay so let me see how i'm going to do it there signature plastic cover again so there's a deck of cards so these are the tarot uh, size cards i think i will find out anyway but i know that uh for the grill you don't have very very different and uh, funny card shapes like at a few so using standards uh mayday um or tin or the what sleeve kings you easily could get the sleeve that you want i, I will show you uh, the sleeve in another video i guess so there's three miniatures inside the red death box just quick view wow this looks like uh, i hope this is the hero because it looks cool now look at the shoe. Yep. Okay. And um, yep. Very very detailed. I think if you are really just in for the miniatures, even if you don't play the game, it's quite quite one of the best miniatures you can get in board game three. So I'm thinking, why don't they you not know, venture into uh, just miniature business? You know, selling extra miniatures and things like that. Okay, so these are the, if I'm not wrong, it's the blue or the yellow color. I think it's likely, let me see, whether this for US or, or UK. If it's for UK, it's likely the blue color minis. So it's the Euro. So you have, a, I suppose, you probably need about 200 at least here. I'll, I'll, I'll find out the numbers when once I you know do the sleeve. Uh, as you can see, this is the standard. I think it's the Mayday Green, which I call it. Yeah, it's either the green or the orange i don't think there's anything else below nope okay it's just it's just how funny that uh, you know one of these box would cost like maybe additional of uh 30 to 50 usd but you know you have a view of it over in just like maybe two or three minutes okay so we're left with the two major big box and this is very very heavy let me just show the back but i think it's probably going to be some reflection of lights uh due to this i'll think of some way to you know mitigate this in the future video <sighs> because of this reflective service but anyway this is has already been uh you know it's really watched soaked me the game because uh in the game i think there are this big statues there that i think uh, you can either like get some powers or get some decision done at various points and uh they are these statues are like you know super giant statues that exist in the world so in terms of the game part i think that is a very very intriguing story yep so tenor grill game by okay don't make me pronounce this name i'll probably pronounce it wrong so forget it let me just keep that so sneaker gel i'll put my own anyway uh good there's a quick start guide well uh not that quick but okay i hope this helps me 
because you know for big games like this right the first thing i have is that uh, i'll sleeve it and i always ask the question what do i sleeve what do i keep how do i sleeve how do i arrange and usually that's a big major issue you know and i need sheets like this to tell me what is inside so that i'm not missing any stuff you know when i check through it um, it helps me identify and classify the different components uh, so that i can select storage boxes and stuff to you know keep them in order and they wanted to protect you know it's the same ring that uh, you saw just now yeah so they added in an additional cardboard here uh, good job this is the exploration journal uh, we have this look letters looks similar right like what we've seen just now and i think that looks like a map behind okay like i mentioned this is the additional character Nyam. so uh, i bought it actually to be honest i didn't buy this uh, straight from kickstarter uh, because by the time i'm into kickstarter i actually had missed this uh, this campaign and i had to end up getting this uh, from someone else who has a kickstarter a group pledge and same same shit as you can see uh, and the problem is um, then i have to pay him to get to get this and i don't have it in my kickstarter account so that's good and bad but one thing i did, do want to mention is that uh, in the past i thought you know having a group pledge together with other people you will save on the shipping which uh i checked is about 10 percent but okay what i want to say is here is that it may not be worth it because imagine this this super big box uh there's a box I would think the 15 kilo is not over is not overrated so to carry this back home uh if you have a car no problem if you're going to take some form of transport the cost added might actually not be worth it you might actually uh, offset that 10 percent you save you might still have it uh you know individually pledged delivered to your place and then you have it in your kickstarter or whatever account and then you know if they do have some uh return backers promotion and you are fully eligible for it so that, that's the only thing that actually uh, bothers me a bit okay but anyway this is custom built for this as you can see nice thick cardboard uh, four of them i suppose these are the player boards you can see there's indentation for you to put in all the cubes uh you know, same here as well and i think maybe some items and stuff like that. so these are one of the best boards i've seen uh, in this type of rpgs type of games you know other than uh because if you know like Gloomhaven or this okay Gloomhaven let's not compare because it's like it's only one quarter of the price and uh if you want those this type of uh, box you will probably have to order it third party or something like that. they have a custom uh, printed 3d printed box for them okay so these are the game cards they are standard size uh you know that this is very special they use some sort of change order you know to um, to create combos which actually is a very unique way to play this game i think it's a uh, something very very different um you have tokens i don't have the upgraded tokens these are just the plastic ones i think the upgraded ones come with uh it's a metal metal tokens <coughs> or coins and like that but i have plenty of metal coins which i bought uh, elsewhere for other games so i if applicable i will pull that out for this and then i'm gonna just keep this here and then let me see what is this uh, so we have some uh Oh, this looks like metal coin as well so uh, for you know this one you get it upgraded there are more cards here item cards these are item cards right see very beautiful art okay so more of this so for games like this you know imagine there would be thousands of over of cards so buying the card sleeve um, is going to be um, quite quite a big deal as well so you could decide to take their official card sleeve which actually is a good deal because they are 90 microns and very very thick um, but i chose to use my own uh, which is mainly from mayday okay so this are uh, i think the tarot size which i'm very fond of it because i the uh, arkham horror the card the not the card game the arkham horror the original game i think there are plenty of this sleeve i bought so more cards here that's it i won't go through all the cards here but as you can see there are just more and more cards and you know maybe i'll just show you some artworks here because artworks are just beautiful i will start to uh, 
sleeve them and then maybe read through the FAQ or how other people organize their cards. Um, one thing I'm pretty sure is that you know, with the amount of cards here, no way I'm going to have put all the cards back after the sleeve. That is a, one major drawback of having a uh, sleeve. But if you buy the... Uh, oh, I think if you buy Tinder Grill, they don't really give you a box with, uh, with slots for your sleeve cards. They just give you a box of sleeves. <coughs> so storage-wise, you might have to look around, see how other people do it. I am not a big fan of uh, wooden wooden structured boxes, so I will usually build my own, uh, buy my own uh, containers, uh, and then put them together. Like you can see how I did for uh, Journey Middle Earth. I haven't uh, shown one that I did for Mage Knight. Maybe someday I'll do it. Uh, and of course other titles. So all these cubes looks real cool. Uh, they don't have the green one, which is like which exactly the green one looks like the one I get from. Uh, King of Tokyo. Okay, I think this goes to you know where <coughs> all, all the holes here, right? <coughs> okay, so um, let me just leave this to confirm that nothing else below is really heavy, you know. So so what was really heavy is not the miniatures, it's the cup. Nothing. Oh my god! Oh, these are not mold. This looks like mold to me though. Okay, I think they're molds. Hopefully it's not a big deal. I'll put in some silica gel of course later. You know most has been a big major issue. I I want to talk about it in another video maybe. You know, I found some solutions. They are not elegant, but you know living in uh, in Asia is a is a very very wet place and you know most is something you constantly have to fight. These are the super giant miniatures that is shown on the cover. Yeah, so really, really cool stuff. I hope they get into the games uh, you know, very often because it's such a waste if they're not. So I think there's a, there's three of these big miniatures. You know, look at the skull. This last one. Okay, I, I hope there's focus because I... I didn't bring this out. Let me check with the camera. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, if you don't you don't catch it in my video, there are always other videos which I'll show you this. So these are the heroes that are not wrong, right? They better be the heroes because I haven't seen anything that looks uh, remotely like the heroes. just show this big guy because I think it's cool the details look at the details it saddens me that you know I probably don't have the skill to paint this I don't want to ruin this at all okay so there's two dice very very unique dice as you can see uh, you know the there's W and 4 so I don't think they'll be using uh, any standard dice for this let me put this back quickly and now open the last box. I did not keep track of time. I hope this video doesn't run like one hour. You know, it's like it's, it's totally ridiculous to watch an unboxing video that's one hour. You ask me. You know, most most people who open unboxing videos they just want to find out what's inside. You know, compare against the ass. Am I missing anything? You know, how how's your your bundle compared to my bundle? Uh, I mean, usually that's my question, uh, You know. I go through that kind of question and um, I watch other videos all just to compare and you know, see what, what I'm getting but I actually don't really find a lot of, a lot of uh, titles or videos that actually covers a one wave shipping most of them is just the shipping of the additional expansion items okay so this is the last box it's a super gigantic box that's as heavy as the core box if not heavier okay you know that looks like the grill, right? You know, painted. <coughs> this this really like you know topples the conventional thinking of um, about <coughs> the King Arthur's story, which actually in the first place is actually quite dark, but has been lightened a lot to you know suit all audience. Okay, save sheets. Okay, this is probably all the letters for the different heroes. Again, I guess. 
and uh, these boards are the same ones you see for Niam, but they are for the different other heroes here. Okay, now back to Giles, but not doing his job too well for the previous box, I guess. Okay, so we have uh, two journals here. They have been put this way so that you know the the ring on both sides. Okay, totally cool art. See ya. So I'm going to keep it that way to flatten this. Okay, lots and lots of cups. I bet you there's nothing else below, but it has something similar here. Uh, I don't know if you really call it more or not, but it's an impression. It's an impression uh, from the, the plastic covers. Let's see the nice nothing. So I'm. I don't think I'm too fussy about that actually, but maybe just check other people if they have similar issues. So there are quite a few miniatures here. Uh, they come with the box that you can leave it up. I don't have to like you know plug them out. I will bring it close to the camera so you have a good view. I probably probably won't take it out. I don't know to lengthen this uh, video any more than it does. Okay. Super nice miniatures for the then more cards. I think I won't go through all the cards here already. It's probably uh looking at the decks probably are more for the different scenarios and the different heroes. Two more small ones, uh items as well. And I think some of these uh, numbers is probably related to the journal. I haven't played the game yet, so I won't know. Uh, this looks interesting because this looks like div are they dividers? No, they are reference cards. Okay. Okay, so so because if it's like if it's empty, they didn't want to need to be shaking, so they actually place a styrofoam form here, which is good. <coughs> Let me see. This is the last two tarot size cards, so this location like the uh, help cut for. I think sleeving this is going to take hours. I'm pretty sure of it. But uh, I'm still fond of sleeping. I will not leave the game I sleep. Because you know when you play, there are all sorts of things that transfer to the game. Sleeping it keeps it in good condition as well as you know, it's a good resale value as well, I think. If you intend to sell it off someday. So the only thing is that these letters, uh, I might want to actually sleeve them with something. I don't know. Let me, let me think about it. It was there's something new that I've not encountered in other games. Okay, so that's all we have for Tinted Grail. Uh, all in King's Pledge in one wave shipping. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope I'll be able to show more about Tinted Grail. I'm quite excited to get it today. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.